Hey, baddies! It's Woo! your girl, Natalie Odell, and welcome back to your favorite beauty channel on YouTube where we cover everything beauty, lifestyle, self love, and all of that. Okay? All of that, baby! All of that. All right. So, this is my friend, Alexis. This is also Chris's wife. If you've probably seen her doing her thing on TikTok, hey. all that. Right, all of that. <laughs> Um, so today we're gonna be doing her makeup. And y'all know I'm not a professional makeup artist, okay? I'm not pretending to be. But you're gonna walk out looking cute. I, I better. I, I better. Hope. I better, shoot. You know, because y'all don't wear makeup and stuff. She doesn't, so, so I was like excited. She was like, you wanna do my makeup? I was like, duh, <laughs> I do wanna do your makeup. So we're gonna be talking about what it's like to be married to a woman. Woo! Yes, show me great, baby. Yes, okay. That's so, right. Yeah, she's gonna be giving us all the tea, and y'all already know I'm new to the LGBTQ plus all the rest. Brand new. Right. Right. All right, cool. So let's get into the video. It's crazy, but let's go. I don't know about you, but I'm ready. I don't care if it snows. I guess I'm out of my mind. Take me back to Manhattan, back to the city where the magic happens. You wear your suit and tie, and I will wear my satin. Where all the lights are bright and we won't leave a name. Okay, so we just gonna prep your face real quick, okay? okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, oh, this smells delicious. Yes. Let's, let's rewind a little bit, all right? Let's rewind yeah. time. So, you have, uh, how old is your daughter? Um, she's 12. She's 12. You yeah. have a 12 year old I, daughter. You would never know. No, no, it ain't never nobody know. snatch. Right. Shoot. Ever. <laughs> ever. Don't let them play you, okay? So, Krista is not your first relationship, then, obviously. No, she's not. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess that's not obvious because y'all gotta have a donor. Tell me about your first relationship. <laughs> <laughs> You don't what? gotta talk to me back, girl. They don't need to be all okay, of you. Okay, okay, okay. But the baddies wanna know a little bit. All right, so I was married before to a man. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> it's right. a mistake of my life. <laughs> so how is it? Let's, let's do some comparisons and contrast. Since you know, cause I have never been married ever. Like uh -huh. I haven't been married yet, right? Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't really know what marriage is like in general. So how, how, what are the major differences being married to a woman and being married to a man? So yeah, Chris is not your average woman. Mm -hmm. um, pretty much a dude, you know what I mean? She's pretty much a dude. <laughs> No, but she's she is definitely still feminine. She is feminine. She's I mean, very feminine she, still. There's no drawers. No, that's a lie. There's still she still got her briefs on the floor. But <laughs> she her eyes up. She's super. That's clean. easy. Why is easy? <laughs> not, it's not easy as underwear though. though. Thank God. It's yeah. her socks. I swear. Um, She'll take off her socks and leave them anywhere. I'm like, why? Why? That's how I am. I always leave socks in the bed. Really? No, but she'll leave yeah. them in my living room. She's leaving, it don't matter what, bathroom, <laughs> hallway, it doesn't matter where she takes them off at. She's very clean. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know, we just bought, we just, I just like staring at her body. Yeah. I don't, she's a woman, you know what I mean? So that's I'm like, pretty bad you didn't things. like, you didn't like staring at your <laughs> man's body? <laughs> You were like, no, I mean, he had really nice hair. Like his hair was super long, Yeah, you know? But I mean, he was never really there, so. So emotionally, do you feel like it's different? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a lot different. Like mm -hmm. she's more involved. She's, she cares about my feelings. In my previous relationship, I was pretty much like a trophy type of thing. Yeah, trophy wife. Yeah. Cause you are a trophy. That's right. Shit. But that's not all you're trying to be. Exactly. Okay. You need that emotional <laughs> support. But anyways, I'm not gonna try to make this all depressing and yeah, stuff. Yeah, we not, look, he's not but, you know, shine right, in this video. Right, right, right. Let's talk about Carissa. Yeah, the one like that matters. The best. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes, cause she be getting on my nerve. Well, that's what everybody. How does Krista emotionally support you? And let's say a woman, because we're just talking about woman being with married to a woman versus a man right now. Just her physically, just being there and just asking what's wrong with me, and she just... actually cares about those things. Yeah, she does. Okay, so she's um. Look up. Oh, so, oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm doing here. It's okay. <laughs> 
So she's super supportive in everything and anything that I do. So oh, like, I love that. Yes. The support. Yes. That's that how easy say. it is too. It's like, I always say that easy is my number one fan. Like, yeah. you know, other than my mom. <laughs> but right. she will root for me no matter what I'm doing. Yeah. And Chris is definitely like that because I'll be like changing it up all the time. Like, yeah. I want to do this today. And then the next day, she just gets overwhelmed. But she's like, I'm still here for you, Alexis. I'll be yeah. like, I right, bet. Cool. I love that. So she's super supportive. She's really, really, really amazing in the bedroom. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I gotta say that. You, so. better, you better talk your stuff about your wife. Yeah, she real good. That's why I had to keep her. I was like, oh, first time I was like, damn, I gotta marry this one. Yeah. For real, I'm gonna have her. About. Sorry, ladies. Y'all can't have married. my stuff. <laughs> I love it. So my next question is this, okay? So basically i came into being a part of the lgbtq mm -hmm. community i feel like in my personal opinion at a really good time because i know you know throughout history it's been really tough for people to yeah. come out as gay or lesbian or whatever you identify as i feel like people even say like on social media and stuff that it seems like it's trending to yeah. be gay like everyone's it's on tiktok it's everywhere you look you know it's so much more acceptable on social media than before and not only that i also came out in la los right. angeles one of the biggest places that are most supportive of the gay community so tell me this how was it for you mm -hmm. coming out like first of all how long ago was it that you came out so the first time i actually came out i was actually 10 years old Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, I okay. I was in John Jay Park in New York City. I was around my cousins and I was like, I like girls. And they all ran away from me. <gasps> oh, and that wow. was the I, where, knew I where wasn't you... supposed to be gay. <laughs> <laughs> where did you, like, who did you come out to first? Um, It was, okay, so it was my cousins. But then I tried telling my mom on MySpace. <laughs> on MySpace? Oh, I think I remember you telling me the story. Tell yeah, me. Yeah, so I was on MySpace and I was like, lesbian, you know? And then my mom was looking at it and she was like, you're a lesbian? And like just her face, I was like, no, I'm not, just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> So, and then like, and how just, old were you then? Oh man, I was about like 15, 14. It was just really hard, especially growing up in like in a very Catholic family, uh -huh. you know? My mom is super, super supportive. Like she was around drags all her life, gay people all her life. Yeah. But it's, I don't know, I just felt like she wouldn't have accepted it, but she absolutely did. Oh wow. So, so when you something. actually did have the conversation with her, she was accepting. Yeah, she was fine. She was just like, I just gotta check Chris up. You know what I mean? Got she, you. Cause so they nobody heard my wait, baby. Hold up. Krissa, so when you came out, came out, it was with Krissa. So I tried coming out at 10 and I tried coming out again around in high school. Mm -hmm. And then um, I just said, F it. And I just put a picture up on Facebook of me and her making out. And I was like, ding, I'm oh, gay. Oh, shoot, <laughs> what? Yeah, it was pretty hilarious. Pretty hilarious. Yeah, it was so funny. So you didn't even say anything. You didn't have a conversation with your family or nothing. It was just a picture of y'all kissing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And how long ago was this? Oh man, I don't know. I gotta look at my Facebook memories. Um <laughs> eight years ago. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so my next question is I'm sure the baddies wanna know. <laughs> Alright, so you guys already have Olivia and yeah. Krista has raised Olivia with you like since she was four. Since she was four and yeah. she's now twelve. So yeah. that's you that's and mommy right there. Is all that she yeah. knows, right? Mm -hmm. So since you guys have Olivia, have you guys thought about having another child and uh, if you and if you have what way would you like go about it and stuff you know well years ago years ago we thought about having another kid yeah really but now okay. we don't want one no no more. no okay no why more. uh <laughs> because well, first of all like i want to enjoy the rest of my life uh -huh. not that i'm not saying that having a kid you're not gonna enjoy it but i got pregnant at a very young age so you already did <laughs> been there and done that yeah. 19 is not that bad. I know people who've been yeah. pregnant and younger. So before I was like, yes. But then now I'm like, um, I kind of just want to enjoy life. You know what I mean? Since I never really had the chance to do it at a young age. 
What about you? You want you want kids with easy? Um, yeah. We I mean, that's if you gonna be with her, right? If she makes it, then right? If she don't give you a ring, <laughs> yeah, we definitely want to have kids, and you know. What way, like, would you recommend? Because when you guys were talking about possibly having kids, like, what way were you guys gonna do it? We were gonna get a donor. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so there's just so many options, baddies. There's yeah. so many options. We were gonna get a donor. Another way is, you know, I was gonna carry her eggs and she didn't have a baby yet. Wow. Yes. But then I realized I don't want to do that anymore. You're like, mm, no, you could do that. No, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we were gonna ask her brother for her sperm, but then that was like kind of just a weird conversation. So Yeah, that that would seem a little strange. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I mean it's a good idea because then think about it, then y'all would same DNA. It's the same DNA. Same DNA. Same DNA. Yeah. But then I feel like there would be moments where, you know, it could get a little bit weird because it's like technically that's yeah. You know what I'm and saying? It would have been his first kid, so I was like, nah, I don't think I wanna do that. Right. So then you know then just time went by and then we just didn't have one right you guys just didn't and now you guys are we definitely definitely not one. going to i want one maybe i haven't decided yet i probably will adopt like yeah my oh, biggest thing is nice. i want to kind of foster kids you know yeah that's what i really want but being the fact that we travel so much we can't it's, so. that would be tough because yeah you'd be traveling yeah. with the kids Exactly. So, do you do you and Easy want to have kids or? Yeah, we do. We definitely do. We, we we haven't really like. I don't know. We're really new to this still, y'all. Y'all know we, it's <laughs> it's only been like what six seven. I don't mm -hmm. really know. It's only been a few months since we actually came out and decided we're going to actually try something between us. Um. So. Mm -hmm. It's really new to or to start really thinking about kids, but we know that we both want kids, and if we do end up together, then we're gonna have to figure right. out how we gonna make this happen. Right. Okay. Right. So it definitely right. put me in a different position than I really expected myself to be in because obviously, when you're, you know, I've been straight my whole life, so when you're dating a a guy, you don't have to think like. Right. It just happened. It, it just happened. happened. That's what happened to I, me. I remember trying to avoid Shoot. it happening. I'd be like, Shoot. <laughs> okay, so. You and Krista, you know, y'all came out, you have a kid, you're mm -hmm. living your best life. Best life. How is this life going in Pennsylvania? Because um, I know that's where you live, and that's not, it's a lot different than me living in LA and having a lesbian relationship. Right. You know, how is it out there? Because for y'all that don't know, I'm originally from Pennsylvania, so. So it's like this. I come. From, I'm, I don't come from. I come from a big city, but right. living in a small town, it's horrible. Yeah. Like yes. So where we're at, with like Harrisburg, so there's the East Shore and then the West Shore. Mm -hmm. The East Shore is more Black and Hispanic. The West Shore is more White people. And That's where how do you it is when you cross the bridge. Do you live more with like the White people. I do live more with the White people because the school district is better. Okay. Um. There's barely any. Uh, lesbians or gay people there mm -hmm. um there's a lot of there's a lot of racism it's just it's just not a good place to be if you're gay so do you guys get a lot of stares like all the time, all really? the time yeah. so when i had um my grooming business in pa uh -huh. i couldn't let my clients know i was gay oh no or else i would have lost business and income Wow. Yeah. And, and did you experience that ever happening? And that's why you're like, okay, oh, yeah. from now on? 100%. So when I had, especially like one of my employees, um, they were of color. Uh -huh. And since they were of color, a lot of my clients didn't come back. You're lying. No, 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 that's how it is. And then like when I used to groom like some other dogs or whatever, they would always make a lot of gay comments or like, I don't like gay people. And I and I was like, dang, like I can't say anything. So dang, ain't you gotta even act offended because at the end exactly. of the day, that's your livelihood. You, exactly. you know what I'm saying? It You're was, not about to lose your job over an right. opinion of others. It so. was rough, it was rough. Oh, what are we still doing there? I don't know. Cause Chris is cheap and we gotta <laughs> stay there. <laughs> they gonna come out late, we gonna get y'all yeah, out here. Exactly, <laughs> we need to do something cause woo. But it is really peaceful and I really, really 
like it. We just don't go out much. And if we do go out, we go to like New York or we go to Philly yeah. or we come here. But we don't really mean go out much anyways. Yeah. So, I mean, even her family members, it's really hard for them to see us together. So, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, still? You know, it's not really accepted at all. Oh, shoot. It's not accepted. Dang, okay. <laughs> Give me a piece of advice from an OG I... to a newbie of how to have a successful relationship with a woman. Even get to the point where you're at, where you've been married and together for eight years. All right. Uh, patience, mm -hmm. communication, okay, and don't take it, take, don't take life so seriously. Yeah. I have to learn that one. I have to tell myself that. I have to tell myself that all the time. But you also have to look at yourself. Just because they're the same sex, it mm -hmm. doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's still a relationship. That's yeah, and do. everyone still has. I think that is important because honestly, I've realized that too. At first, the first like month or so of it I was like okay this is different this is different she's right. a girl I'm a girl like this is different this is different. and then I realized she's a person you know what I'm saying she's a person yeah. regardless of if maybe she is a little more sensitive or maybe she is can be hormonal and stuff like that regardless people go through things whether she's a girl or a guy mm -hmm. and it's all relationships are all about Acknowledging that person yep. and that they have feelings and in learning and how to work. work with it. Yeah. yeah. And not give up. Don't ever give up. Especially if you want to be with that person. I feel like if you're going to give up, that's just like, that's easy. Yeah, it is. It you is. Know? I mean, everybody's doing it today. You right. Know? I'm on my second marriage. <laughs> <laughs> but you want the better one. Right, exactly. So. But <laughs> yeah, don't give up. Okay. So. All right, so right now I'm about to finish your lips okay. and then we're gonna reveal the look to the baddies. <laughs> okay, baddies, let's get into the look. Woo! Ready? Perfect. for my new relationship <laughs> and I know I can always call you if I need yes advice. you can shoot you better call me you know yes. what I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> all right make sure you guys follow her give them your information oh that's right I got some okay <laughs> okay my information is Alexis that Fox you can follow me on YouTube Instagram TikTok you know follow her everywhere it's Chris about my me and my you know wife yes so. okay <laughs> okay i love you guys make sure you guys comment below tell me if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up all that that's stuff. right and i'll see you in the next video bye baddies <laughs>